A University of Arizona study determined the average person generates almost 500 pounds of food waste a year. Mm. I exceed that, I think. Maybe the average restaurant deals with almost that amount on a daily basis. Maria Hall Brown went to visit the Yard House in Brea where innovative technology is reducing that waste by 90%. It's called an e-correct system. Once food leaves the kitchen and goes to, to the dining room, uh, you, you can't recycle that. So it is, it is in effect trash. It's either going to leave in someone's stomach, in someone's takeout container, or it's going to end up in a garbage can. And uh, we didn't want that to happen. What we do is we have, like in different areas, like we have two different trash cans. We'll have a green trash can. There's green trash cans throughout the kitchen, um, also in the dish area. And then there's going to be a gray or black trash cans. The black, gray, gray trash cans are for all the things that aren't recyclable and then the green ones are all for all your food product and so whenever they're doing it they'll put the paper in one and they slide the, the food off into the other. At the end of the day they dump it inside of our machine. This machine can handle about 250 pounds to 270 pounds a day of waste food, waste food reducing it by up to 85 to 93 percent. So effectively what you do is you load it up, you close the hatch, you come over here, you turn this button, this knob on, and you hit the start button, and that's it. 16 to 18 hours later, you come over here tomorrow morning, about 10 or 11 o'clock, the machine will automatically shut down by itself, so, and cool down by itself, and what you do now, is you come over here, you open the output pin, you put this tray underneath it, and you hit this red discharge button, and in about 20 or 30 minutes, what comes out is about five to 10 percent of what you put in here. This material is here that, that's in this remaining bucket is composed of vegetables, it's composed of fish bones, chicken, meat, leftover, anything. We call this sterile biomass, so there's no, no pathogens, no germs in here, and it's used for as a soil amendment to be put into um, composters, um, um, landscapers, uh, golf courses uh, would love this stuff because for composting it actually acts as an, uh, an, an additive and an accelerant for compost. Uh, the most important thing that we're doing with it is we're taking this material and making biofuels out of it. So this kind of material, it's still in a uh, research phase, but uh, these are the first pellets that came out, and this could be used for creating energy now. And um, the only thing that comes out of the machine is potable water, and that water goes right down the drain. This water has uh, less than one CFU, that's one colony forming unit of bacteria per milliliter. And if you understand that in the um, United States, the uh, maximum amount of bacteria allowed per water is 500 milligrams. We have less than one, milli uh, one CFU per milligram. So that's, you, it's, it's, drink you, it. you can almost drink it. In fact, uh, I sampled it once. It has a little odor to it, but it's, it's and great. And you lived. And I lived. You plug it into a 220 volt outlet and that's it. There's no installation, no um, construction, no ventilation, no piping, no nothing. The sanitation of it all, I mean, I think you're taking things that would have flies and everything like that and it just is taking that all out of the equation because those are all things that would be in the trash cans, you know, and you have to keep the lids closed and they just, I mean, everybody knows what a dumpster looks like. It's, you don't want to be around them and I think it just makes it overall that much easier to keep that area clean. When they dump all this food into the, the waste food into the landfills, what you get is the creation of methane gas. Methane gas is 25 times more harmful to the environment than the carbon monoxide that comes out of our trucks and, and automobiles on the road. This is not a fad. You know, we sometimes come under fire from other people that, oh, you know, you're just, you're just doing the green thing because it's popular right now. We're doing the green thing because it's right. And it's what, it's what our team members expect. I think it's what our guests are going to continue to expect. I think people make choices today based on how they feel about a company's position on something like how green they are. Ultimately, 250 pounds of organic waste turns into about this. It's uh, 30 pounds of, of nutrients, which smells a little bit like uh, kind of an interesting organic coffee. <laughs> in Brea, I'm Maria Hall Brown, Real Orange. And the system comes in a wide range of sizes, and in May, the eCorrect system was awarded the Innovation Technology Award at the National Restaurant Show in Chicago. Also, the cities of Mission Viejo and Irvine have received a grant from the Department of Commerce to install eCorrect systems in hotels and restaurants throughout the cities. If you'd like more information, you can log on to foodrecycle.com.